big old Mitz. No. Round number one. Black and American flag trunks for Caleb Harris. Black, red, and gold trunks for Derek Finley. Harris doing a good job of what he talked about, standing on the outside, moving a lot of movement. He does not want to stand in front of this guy and trade punches. The fighters establishing their jab. There's the jab on cue from Harris. The two, the right hand doesn't get through. Lead left uppercut from Harris, a bit audacious. Now circles out. One, two from Caleb Harris. Harris is doing a great job. He's going to have to continue to do this for a long time, probably the entire fight. Right hand on the step in from Finley now to the inside. Push off from both men. Right back to it orders referee Wayne Spinola. There's the jab, the right hand. Back to the inside comes Derek Finley. 60 seconds gone, round number one. With a touch of hands, that's because Finley won for punching late. Harris was not bothered at all. See the quick pairing of that jab by Derek Finley. Very dangerous thing to do, but you can tell that boxing background. He's just waiting for those punches to come, pairing them. But he has to follow up with some punches right after him. He's just stalking his opponent right now. Right to the body. Out to the inside, looking to counter with the left is Harris. Harris doing a good job every time he's in that tight position. He's tying up. Harris snatching that overhook. That draws the immediate break from Wayne Spinola. Closing stages, round number one. And right. Certainly not a lot of volume for Derek Finley in the opening round. More tactical. Harris continuing the move, continuing to throw. Oh. There is the bell. He will move to number two. Although saying that you were 13 1 and 1 in your pro boxing <laughs> career as well. Round number two. Look Worried to the body. Caleb Harris is coming out throwing a lot of punches oh, 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 right now. Quick tie up by Harris. That was slick as Finley went to the body. Lead left hook, nothing there from Finley. And Finley just seems a, a step slower to me right now. Harris is in there throwing punches and. Finley just seems a little too slow for him right now. Harris' movement is outstanding to this point. Yeah. Dictating the tempo, dictating the rhythm. Continual left hands from Caleb Harris. Not hard shots, but they're definitely disrupting Finley's timing and movement. They're walking forward again, looking for the level change. Takes that left hand. Slight mouse now under the left eye of Harris, but he lands the right hand into the clinch. He's doing a great job of landing punches right there against Finley. Second time I'm warning. Wayne Spinola saying, that's my second warning to you for punching when I call break. Referee speak, that's called a hard warning, meaning next time probably a point deduction. Stop, break, please, stop. 55 back seconds up. now remaining in round two. And right there, you can see the punches being thrown, a lot more from being thrown by Harris right now. Tripling up his jab, Finley trying to get back to the inside. It just looks like the punches that Finley's throwing are kind of telegraphed. You can tell when they're going to throw them. They're a little slow, a little labored. Uppercuts to the body from Caleb Harris. Again, that's just something that Finley is not going to see in his boxing career. Absolutely not. Like I said, this isn't boxing. 20 seconds to go round two. Now Caleb Harris doing exactly what he wants to do in terms of timing, tempo, and movement. There's the right hand on the step in from Harris. Finley back to the clinch. Short right hands, there's the right uppercut from Harris that lands to the head. Yeah, Finley definitely seems a little confused. This is the BKFC show. You can stay up to date on all things Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. Again, new shows available every Thursday okay, beginning gentlemen. at noon, U.S. Ready? Canadian Eastern Time on Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships YouTube channel. Round number three, Caleb Harris versus Derek Finley at 165 pounds. Strong start to this fight for Caleb Harris. More volume, more movement, and very elusive. Now, this is the most movement and the most volume I've ever seen from Caleb Harris, and it's working for him. He looks fantastic. You know, Sean, we've talked about a lot of times when guys get in this sport and they get five, six fights, they start to really go up a level, and that seems like what's going on over. Stiff jab from Caleb Harris. Right hand to the body. 
Just high-level boxers. Not many have transitioned to MMA. You would be one of the few. But transitioning to MMA, transitioning to bottom two, bare knuckle. They always talk about punches come from such weird angles. When you box at a high level, you essentially see the same punches. They're brilliant, beautiful punches, but you see basically the same punches coming at you. Yeah, that was always one of my advantages, I feel like, as a boxer, was I was awkward. I threw weird angles, and people had trouble with that. So that's one thing I always tell guys coming in is try not to be predictable. Try not to throw the exact same punches everybody else throws. 40 seconds to go, round three. The jab again from Caleb Harris. Derek Finley still trying to get his offense going. I mean, see, forward, move, forward movement, Christian Finley. You're not taking punches with that move. He's leaping in. He's lunging with all these punches. I'd like to see him come forward with them jabs. Really set up a good combination. Double jab right hand, left hook to the body. He's just kind of walking forward and then trying to lunge in with a punch at the end. Look at him, he's just, he's just walking right into his opponent's and punch Take range it. and then throwing bombs. You gotta set those up first. You gotta Stop, back up, back misdirect him. You gotta throw some jabs. You gotta throw something else before you just come right in and throw a looping right hand. We're not privy to the scorecards. One would think right now, 3-0, 30 Caleb Harris, round four. We'll see if Finley has a plan B or can get plan A working. There's the right hand. So this is like the inside tying up, it just seems like he, he gets lost and confused with. Right hand, it misses, but it takes Finley off of his striking line. And I think he's getting, that is Finley getting a little bit tied up in there and, and, and confused by wanting to grab because it's legal. You don't need to do it. You can stay inside and just let your hands go. He's grabbing for no reason because you're allowed to, but you shouldn't do it in this situation. Stepping on the naked right hand from Finley. Through the right hand without the jab. Dropping the head, that was legal. Big right hand from Caleb Harris. Now it loaded. There's a hard shot with the right hand. There's the uppercut. Finley covering up back against the ropes. Best sequence of this fight for Caleb Harris. Absolutely. Caleb Harris got to be a little careful not just to fall in love with standing in front of this point. He's giving him his only chance, but he's doing a lot of damage. This round three, I was talking about angles of their knuckle and an MMA. The boxers at a high level, such as Derek Finley, don't see. That last sequence was exactly what I'm talking about. You can tell right now Caleb Harris feels so confident. He's kind of doing anything he wants right now. That's why he's staying in the pocket. That's why he's staying where he wants to. Huge right hand. Harris landing, finding his range, staying on the outside, unloading. There's the jab, 1-1-2, one, one, now the uppercut. Swing and a miss from Derek Finley. Final seconds, round number four. I said Derek Finley's just throwing bombs whenever he gets a chance. They're not set up at all. It's very difficult to land those against someone like Harris. Caleb Harris having his best round of the fight. And we will move to the fifth and final round. Round number five begins with the study jab on the forward movement from Caleb Harris. You see right there, that's where Finley grabbed him for some odd reason. I just know maybe he's tired or maybe he just doesn't, I mean, he's not used to being able to grab a guy, so he's doing it. There's the uppercuts, half tie put. He looked to land low, Harris fighting through it. If it landed low, he wasn't bothered, and Mike Spinola wasn't bothered either. Welling under the left eye of Derek Finley. <laughs> Finley continuing to walk forward without throwing punches, Chris. I know, he just kind of walks through and waits for his opponent to throw hard punches at him, and he throws a looping left hook, a looping right hook. Derek sharp shooting Derek Finley right now. Everything starting off of the jab. Two punches from Finley. Backs off, now into the clinch. <laughs> 50 seconds remaining, fifth and final round. Half tie plum held by Caleb Harris. Slight swelling under the right eye of Harris, who has his face relatively clean. He's doing a great job of using a half tie plum to control his opponent. Sweeping hooks to the body from Finley, but not much power on those punches. Power! Right hand, another big right hand from Harris. 
There's a lot of swarm on the Finley's left eye as he takes that right hand. Derek Finley is a tough guy. He's taken a ton of shots this time. Harris on the back pedal, loads up, almost theatrical, yet still precise and technical. These are long straight punches that are continually landing for Caleb Harris. Harris most definitely feeling it in the final seconds of this fight. The bell at the end of this welterweight bout. Here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. Judge Clancy and Judge Dixon score the fight 50-45. And Judge Ingle scores the fight 50-46, all in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Caleb ah! Lionheart Harris! Once again, best I've seen him look phenomenal. He really looks like he's getting a good handle on Ben Knuckle. Seventh fight, looked fantastic. Can't wait to see him fight again. Chris, with fighters in multiple performances at BKFC, such as Caleb Harris, we're seeing an evolution in skill set. We talked about that with Adam Pellerano, and that most definitely applies to Caleb Harris. He was phenomenal against a really high-level boxer in getting that unanimous decision win. Caleb Harris, 5-0, 5-0, and a 50-46. One judge giving it a 10-10 round, but Harris, that's as close as you can get to a clean sweep without a clean sweep. The winner, by way of unanimous decision, Caleb Harris defeats Derek Finley.